Okay, so welcome back to the tutorial. So uh, this lesson we will learn uh, how to uh, set up eh, the database environment after you install the Ravel into the uh, Visual Studio Code and uh, how to uh, connect your Ravel uh, development environment to the database. Okay. And in the same time, uh, we will create a simple uh, user register and user login function by using the predefined function inside the Ravel new project package. Right. So the first, okay, uh, you need to set up the new database uh, inside your SNMPP. So make sure okay, you are running the MySQL and Apache. Okay. So you start with the dash So you go to the local host okay. So is, is that a application uh, I mean? Okay. So you can create a new database okay. So for example, I want to create a new database uh, the database name there is a uh, cut cut uh, 2000 B cut correct okay. cut 2020 B okay so after that you can back to the uh, Ravel uh, Ravel, right? So the Ravel will configure the Ravel database uh, environment documents. Okay. So inside the folder, uh, you are you will create for the new uh, Ravel project. So you select dot emb. Right. So dot emb, there is a set up your uh, environment, uh, right? Database environment connection. It's not only a database uh, and the other uh, SMT, SM, SMTP, right? uh, mail, right? uh, environments. Right? Important that there is a database. Uh, right? There is a card 2020p. Username, there is a root password. There is no password because my uh, my database will never set any password for the inside the Ravel. Okay. After that, you set. Okay, done. Huh? Okay. So for the next, on the new project, okay, if we want to generate the new uh, registration for user function and login function, we need to using again about the composer commands. There's a composer require Ravel UI. There is only apply if you're using the new version. The old version is uh, more easiest. Okay. But new version, you need to run the command uh, Composer require Ravel slash UI So you run Composer require Ravel slash uh, UI okay. So you need to run okay. So again, if you uh, download the require file and set up inside your uh, Ravel project. And if you want to using the function, okay, right, the requirement is you need install the MPN. MPN means what? Node.js. Uh, right? You need to use using Node.js. Right? Right? 
出現。誒，如果 computer didn't have the Node.js, you just go to the Node.js download. 誒，要 download your version， 誒 ，and install into your laptop. 誒 ，no need to run it. 誒 ，you just install the latest Node.js inside your laptop. Okay. So without the Node.js, it will come out with the error message. So when you're done, it will come out. It will come out successfully. A message. It will come out with successfully message. Okay. So for the next, there is a. After you set up the UI into your Ravel, so you need to add the UI into your Ravel project. So every time you create a new project, you want to add in the user register function. You need to add. The command, okay. Ph uh, start from the self command, and the next is the uh, uh, php artisan command. Okay, php artisan authenticate this one. Okay, so this is very important. Uh. Okay. So you need to run php artisan ui view. Oh. So you require the you come out the after you install the not not just you need to come you come up. You come out with the. Requirement for the MPN. MPN is not an MPN run there. So run MPN store. It depends on your internet speed. Okay, so after that, we will run the npm run that npm run that npm run that So after the oh. 
after that, it, it, it will generate the the route inside your file. Okay. The route. So you can check in your web.php have automatic at the route. Okay. So if you want to uh, modify the layout, you can go to the view authenticate not in black.php. Okay. You can check. So inside the route, so you check for the new one, right? And your resources will come up with the authenticate folder. Okay. So now you can be checked uh, by running the PHPRT Sun okay. So after you done the uh, setup for the interface, it didn't have any database table inside your router project, right? So there is the nothing, right? Uh, Nothing here, nothing here, right? So if you want to, after you generate the interface, of course, in the same time you need to generate the, the database, right? So in the inside the RAR project is already have the, already have the database table, okay? So you, you can you can see there is a user table for the data uh, RAR project, but you haven't uh, create inside your database, so you need to run. PHP are design migrate okay, to set up the database table inside your uh, MySQL database. So after you run the code the command, so you check. Okay, so you will see that okay, user. Okay, it, it was correct, corrected. Okay. So of course, in the same time, you need to run the PHP artisan cert check. Okay. So here, there's a local host. So the user login and register will give you display. Uh, right? will display here. Right? So I I cannot log in. Right? Nothing. Uh, right? So I need to register first. In the one, two, three, four, five, six. I right? cannot at least take. So you need to set up. So the function is generated by the command, Ravel command. There is a basic uh, user register. Okay, so you click register. Okay, done. And after that, uh, lock out. I lock out. First. I log out first. Okay. So next time you, you go to a login, so you can one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, okay, login. so you can log in. Uh. So there is a basic uh, login function. Uh. 